Hey guys, huge update on the packet monitor. We got this really new cool board with a 1.3 inch OLED, an ESP32, a SD card connector and a LiPo battery circuit. That is a big update to the previous hardware, which also means I made a big update to this software as well. So if you're not familiar to the previous ESP8266 packet monitor, it started as a little side project a while ago and turned out to be quite a cool gadget. You can monitor the different 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi channels with it and it prints you a graph of how many packets per second are sent from all Wi-Fi enabled devices nearby. And now with this great new hardware, we added SD card support. That means it can not only count the packets in the air, but actually save them. Just put a formatted SD card in, hold the right button for around 2 seconds, the word SD should pop up on the top right corner on the display. That means the SD card will now be used to save the captured traffic. Press the button shortly and you can change the channel it's sniffing the traffic on. Hold the button for 2 seconds again until the SD symbol vanishes from the display. Now it's safe to remove the card. If you connect the SD to your PC, you will now find a .pcap file. That file can be opened using, for example, Wireshark. There you can look at the captured packets and analyze them. Of course, you can just use the module without the SD card and look at the nice little graph it prints out. Travis Lin now sells these modules on Tindy and AliExpress. He's the one that also makes the deoffer boards. You can buy it with an external antenna and without, but choose wisely. The ESP32 Rover module that is used on this board differs from the old ESP07 in that way that it only uses one of both antennas. If you buy the version with antenna, you get the module with a little antenna connector and the external antenna you choose. You get a better range, but it won't work without the antenna connected anymore. So if you don't want to have an antenna connected to it all the time, choose the standard version just with the onboard PCB antenna. It's good enough for most use cases too. And oh yeah, you can run the whole thing on a little LiPo battery. That really comes in handy sometimes. Of course, you can let it run your own programs as well. My code is available on GitHub. And you can get these awesome boards now for just 19 US dollars on Tindy and AliExpress. Links for all of that in the description. Oh, and I'm working on updates for my Dauthor and Wi-Fi Ducky too, so don't worry about these. We will get there eventually.